God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Where am I going with this? When you go to a job interview, they won't call you back if you don't meet the qualifications or if you're overqualified. You have to have a certain amount of experience. You have to have a certain type of background. You have to talk a certain way, dress a certain way, be a certain way to qualify to be a part of their company. You have to qualify before you can go from being in an apartment and dealing with landlords before you can walk into home ownership. They need two years consecutive employment experience. They need at least a 650 credit score or higher. They need you to have a will not to make any big purchases like, you know, cars, furniture, things of that nature. They won't give you the car of your dreams unless you meet qualifications. Noah, he was a drunk. But still God gave him what he needed to build the ark and to keep the people from being submerged by the water when it overtook the earth. Moses stuttered when he talked, but yet God qualified him to be the one to part the Red Seas. David was an adulterer, a murderer, or as we call in present day, murder for hire. But yet he danced his way into God's heart, and he was worthy to be called king. Job, God said to Satan, have you tried my servant Job? Job wasn't qualified, but God knew that he would make it through. It wasn't until Job was tried that he was true. So what am I saying to you? All of you who are being called to do something by God, thinking you can't do it because of your reputation, thinking you can't do it because of your background, thinking that you have to qualify with some type of credit, some type of experience. God already knows what you need to meet his need. It's not about what he, she, and all of them say about you. It's about what God knows about you. He can use you as you are. You don't have to meet the qualification to answer the call. There are many calls on our phone that we ignore. The one call that you shouldn't ignore is the calling that God has over your life. In the eyes of man, I am nowhere near qualified to do what I'm doing right now walking back into ministry because my background is nowhere near squeaky clean not inside my home not outside of my home <clears throat> but if God says I can do it I know I can do it if he called me for it I know he'll equip me for it there's no excuse in this world that will stop me from answering God's call we're not always called to do what we look like we can do. But God doesn't put more on you than you can bear. And he won't send you to it if you can't get you through it. Stop looking at your qualifications. Stop trusting in man. Because man and God are not the same. If God gave you something, just trust him enough to walk in it. You take one step, he'll take the rest. God bless.